seen my previous video, you'll know that I am pregnant. We've been so lucky to fall within the first month of trying. I know it's not that easy for everyone, so we feel so honoured that it's happened that quickly. I fell quickly with Paisley as well. Um, we were not knowingly trying, so um, yeah, we're absolutely ecstatic that we've got another little Brooks baby on the way. I've always wanted to document a pregnancy. When I was pregnant with Paisley, I was really into YouTube, but I lacked the confidence to actually start my channel, and now I have. I can document this pregnancy right from the beginning. Um, we found out quite early, so I'm going to be doing weekly updates. This is going to be zero to four weeks. I am four weeks plus one day today. And I'm going to give you all my symptoms that I had before I had a positive test and then symptoms I've had since. I'm just going to say, one of the first symptoms, <laughs> as you'll probably notice throughout the video, is breathlessness. I get out of breath so quickly now. Even just talking for a long period of time, I have to pause and take a few deep breaths because I get out of breath. So yeah, weekly I'm going to be doing an update of all the new symptoms I've had, um, any appointments I've had and things that we've learned um, about the pregnancy and I'll be doing bump updates as well. I'm so excited to be able to document this journey on YouTube and have it to look back on in years to come. And just for family and everyone to see it as well, but I hope you guys are going to come along for the journey and enjoy it as much as I am going to have making it. So, you have to excuse me, I've got everything written on my phone, just so I don't forget anything. So, I was taking pregnancy tests probably a week before I had a positive one. I knew I wasn't going to get a positive one, even if I was pregnant, just because of when the baby making happened, and the timings of everything, but as most women know, when you're trying for a baby, your patience goes out the window completely, you you can't wait, you you want any sign of a little line there that's going to tell you that you've got a little baby cooking away, and so yeah, I had some of the cheapy little dipsticks and some first responses, um, and every time I took them I knew they were going to be negative, but that didn't stop me taking them, um, and then on 12 days past ovulation, I was laying on the floor in a beanbag, Ben was on the sofa, I was just watching things on YouTube on my phone and he was playing his games and I was getting, I mean a few days before that I was getting little cramps and stuff um, and I thought it was too early to have it for my period and they were different, they were like all up like this side of my stomach starting quite low and coming up and they were it's really hard to describe them, like a, a stitch, or like a pinching, like a tugging, almost like something pulling and stretching from the inside. And sometimes they'd get a little bit more intense, not painful, but um, just like, oh, and then it'd go away. And then on 13 DPO, I woke up, you'll see that in the video, at 5am and I thought I've had all these feelings which I think may be implantation um, so I'm going to do a test. I was fully expecting to see nothing again, I thought it was too early and yeah that faint line come up and then I did the clear blue one and it's, yeah it's confirmed, I'm, I'm pregnant, I couldn't believe it. Now on to more symptoms that I've had, so the bloating. I suffer with bloating quite a lot anyway, especially on the run up to my period, I do almost look pregnant. Um, it's an unfortunate thing that runs in my family, little pot bellies. Um, even before having Paisley, I always suffered with pot bellies and it's just, it was more no it's been more noticeable since having Paisley. I think obviously everything's been stretched inside and so it's a little bit lax now. Um, after this baby I am going to try and tone up a little bit because I don't want that, for, I want to feel good about my body and it doesn't feel good when it, you've got excess weight that you didn't used to have before babies. <laughs> so the bloating was there pretty much within a week or within the week of doing the deed 
I was at work and I had a client comment to me that another little one I see in there and I was like I hope so because otherwise you've just called me fat <laughs> my mum and Ben's mum both said to me are you pregnant <laughs> just outright asked me and I was like no um we're trying but <laughs> no I'm, I, I don't know if I am and it was too soon to tell anyway but I did say to people at work literally two two days after trying if I'm not pregnant, I'll eat my shoe. I just knew. Um, that's another symptom, I just knew. It's it's weird, I, I kind of had the feeling of Paisley as well. I woke up one morning and said, Ben, I need to do a test. He was like, what are you on about? I was like, I just feel pregnant. And I'd never been pregnant before, so now I have had Paisley. I just felt pregnant. It's weird, because then at that time I wasn't pregnant because it hadn't actually happened, but I don't know, I just knew, <laughs> and there's no way of explaining that. You just, it's a mother's intuition, and it's a very strong thing, an intuition. I've spoken about it before in my videos. It's so strong, and it's always right. So the next symptom was my sense of smell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't remember it being this heightened this early with Paisley. It was ridiculous. Uh, the first time it was really noticeable, I was laying in bed with Ben about to go to sleep and the overwhelming smell of garlic was coming from Ben. We hadn't had anything with garlic in it for dinner, which I know sometimes if you have things with garlic in, it can really seep out and you can you can smell it on people but we hadn't had it. It was overwhelming and it was making me feel a little bit nauseous. I, I had to face away from Ben, I couldn't face him because it was so strong. And I said to my friends, um, I was messaging them in bed at the time and said, I, Ben stinks of garlic. We haven't had garlic, I, like this is weird. I can't be getting a heightened sense of smell already. And my friend said to me, Heather, only you could fluke getting pregnant in the first month of trying. Um, so yeah, and then since then, since finding out being pregnant, things are a little, a, a lot stronger. Ben's deodorant, it, I can't, it's horrible, it's so strong. And I've never had a problem with it before. It's nice smelling, but I can't stand it now. <laughs> Poor Ben. <laughs> so cravings. I don't know if this is a craving, or whether it was me just going through a little phase for a couple of days. Um, but this was also before my test. I pretty much for a day and a half didn't want anything else apart from cheese and ham sandwiches. Now they had to be a certain way. <laughs> they had to be on fresh white bread. They had to have real butter on. Ham, grated cheese, not sliced, grated, and a light spreading of mayo. And oh my gosh, they were delicious. <laughs> They were like the best sandwiches I've ever eaten. Um, I think again in one of my previous videos I said to Ben about how I'd had a dream about having a ham and cheese sandwich and that's how much I was enjoying them and I had to have them. I had them for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's really bad but that's what I wanted. <laughs> but other than that I've not had any other cravings since. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to come. Oh my gosh, the spots. You would have seen me with pseudo cream all over my face. <laughs> I broke out so badly that it all starting to calm down now, but I would wake up daily with two new spots. Mostly all around my mouth. I had a few up here and a few on my cheeks, but mostly all around my mouth. And I, if I'm not pregnant, what is going on? Because even with my period shoot, I might get one bad spot. Normally like around my jaw, which I think is normal for hormone outbreaks. But, yeah, I was like, I, just couldn't, I couldn't keep them at bay and they wouldn't go away and it was horrible. Um, I would, well, we were both like a little girl. We haven't got a girl together, we've got Kira. Um, but it'd be nice just to complete the children we've had together with one girl, one boy. That would be lovely. Obviously, when we'd be happy with a, with a healthy baby, but it's the ideal situation, isn't it, to have one of each. Um, and they say girls steal your beauty, 
So I'm going to take the spots as a positive sign, trying to find the silver lining of having acne. And maybe we have a little girl on the way. Who knows? So I also documented in my Finding Out I Was Pregnant video that I was quite badly constipated. I'm sorry, if, again, if it's TMI, but I was really constipated. I didn't go for days. Um, I thought that's what was contributing to me being bloated. Um, and then after a few days, it went the other way and I couldn't stop going. <laughs> um, I know that's another symptom of being pregnant, um, but these all happened before I had a positive test. So I was getting quite a lot of symptoms. <coughs> could all be a coincidence, but it could also be that my body tells me quite early. Who knows? Insomnia. Oh my goodness, I love my sleep. I have my whole life <laughs> napped. I love a nana nap. I recently tried to stop having my little naps, um, getting up early, going to bed early, um, and then being a bit more productive and pacing up during the day and getting stuff done rather than having to sleep myself. But I'm exhausted all day, so, so tired. I, have, I can't remember ever being this tired. But then when you go to bed to sleep at night, you can't sleep for anything. There's nothing like, my, my mind is a bit active, yeah, but I just can't get to sleep. What is going on? So then, because of that, I'm having a nap in the day when I can. <laughs> and then I don't know if that's contributing to me not being able to sleep at night, but I literally will lay there wide awake, not tired anymore, as soon as I get into bed. It is weird. Also on the topic of sleep, I've been having really vivid dreams, like as if I'm there. Um, I won't go into details because they're they're weird and crazy and have nothing to do with anything. But yeah, even before I had a positive test, I was having these really vivid dreams. And you don't normally have vivid dreams every night. You have one in a blue moon that you remember. But every morning I was waking up like, what was that about? And I've continued to have them pretty much every night since. And I suppose it's, it's quite nice, you have stuff to wake up and go, oh, that was weird. But, yeah, they are very vivid. And my last symptom was lower back pain. Kind of like an aching, um, almost like very, very, very early labour. You like really, uh, you just get like an ache at the bottom of the back. And it, it yeah. That could have been many things. It, it could have been things happening inside my body. It could have been um, the constipation and things because you can get like lower back pain from that. But I've taken that as a sign as well. So there we have it, guys. That, that is my not four week update. I will now show you guys my belly so you can see how much bloating I have. <laughs> um, I've had a few comments to say I look how I did with Paisley when I was six months pregnant. Um, obviously, the bloating is quite high, it's in my actual belly rather than down below, like more towards my uterus. But it'd be interesting to see how it grows over time, whether the bottom will just fill out to meet where the bloating is, or whether that's gonna grow and I'm gonna be absolutely huge. <laughs> also, one of my friends did mention to me, what if you're carrying twins? Um, <laughs> I am across that bridge when we come to it. Um, that would be crazy. It would be a lovely surprise, but oh my god, <laughs> going from one to three or two to five, like that's crazy. But we'll make it work. But just because I got a, a test, a positive test so early, and because of how much bloating I've had already and my symptoms. So that is my belly, that is relaxed from the side and the front. I hope you guys enjoyed this first update. I'm so excited to bring you all on this journey. Take care guys and I'll see you in my next video.